What is up, everybody? Little Chris here to give you the third update to the 30-day bicep workout challenge that I've got going on with my buddy Roy, a.k.a. Devil Made Me Do It. And I want to try to do something a little bit different uh, with this video. As you can see, I am wearing my headset. I am not using the camera microphone to record the audio on this one. Uh, as I am trying to do a live recording as I take you through the gym routine. Uh, I did the gym routine today, and I have not done the home workout. I still have to do that later on. <clears throat> but I want to take you uh, a little bit closer as to the uh, five uh, exercise types that we go through for the gym routine. So let's go on over and do that. I am at a Planet Fitness, and if you remember the workout montage video that I made, we start off with the incline dumbbell curls. As you can see here, I'm doing both arms at the same time. And this is actually the second set uh, that I recorded. You will not see all five sets uh, that we do while we're at the gym because that would make this video entirely too long. But once I finish uh, this set, I transition over to the seated uh, dumbbell curls. And I forgot to mention also that I'm only using 20 pounds uh, on this one. I started the first set with 25 pound dumbbells, but I felt super exhausted after doing the first set. And here we are now alternating right and left for the dumbbell curls. And then once I finish that, then I will stand completely up and still continue to alternate the dumbbell curls doing a standing curl. <clears throat> the failure repetitions uh, for most of these sets, at least with the dumbbells, was anywhere to about 12 or 15. Once I switched over to the barbell to do the barbell exercises, then the number of reps uh, started to drop after that, ranging anywhere between, I think it was 8 to 10 uh, repetitions. But one thing I can say, though, I absolutely love the definition in my biceps here. I mean, just look at that. It wasn't looking like that about a week ago. So, I mean, to me, that's just awesome. <clears throat> But this is the superset. Now we're over to the barbell. And I'm, this time I'm actually using the 40-pound uh, curl bar. I mentioned that last week in my last update. By the time I got to the spider curls, I had to drop. This time I did not have to drop. I actually kept the 40-pound uh, curl bar all the way through the exercise. On this particular exercise here, though, I'm trying very, very hard to keep my elbows at my side. If you can remember in the workout montage, uh, one of the cheat reps I did, I brought my elbows way up in the air to try to pull that last rep. And here I tried really hard to not do that. Next, we have the drag curl uh, with the barbell. Uh, this one here, I'm really focusing on not allowing my shoulders to come into the exercise. Um, as I pull my elbow back, that allows me to pull the bar up a little bit past my belt line, at which I actually do attempt to curl uh, after that, keeping the bar as close to my body as possible. And right there, there's, there's the failure rep that I couldn't even finish. Now, as I said, I was at a Planet Fitness uh, doing these workouts, and Planet Fitness does not have a preacher curl bench. So I had to switch to a machine. And on this machine, I actually was able to up the weight to 50 pounds during uh, this exercise and then drop back down to 40 when I finish off with the spider curls. One thing that I thought was uh, kind of hilarious is watch my elbow right here when I get to that very last rep. It's going to be a really bad cheat rep as my elbow comes way off of the pad uh, when I actually try to pull in uh, that last rep there. I think this is it right here coming up. That right there. Now watch how high my elbow actually comes off. That's just terrible. <laughs> and then to finish off the gym routine, we have the spider curls. And I have found that the more that I do the spider curls, the more that I like them. I actually enjoy that because I'm laying down in this position, I cannot use my back to cheat in any way by swinging to do any type of uh, momentum to help me actually curl the bar. This is actually all arm. Uh, curling the bar. The only other thing that I can possibly say is if you watch my hand, I don't really like how my hand actually kind of twists 
because that means that my uh, forearm is actually coming into the exercise and I only want my biceps uh, to stay in the exercise. So that's something that I need to work on uh, by not twisting uh, my wrists whenever I do any type of curling uh, at all. But that is the gym routine. Like I said, we have five sets to failure on each of those exercises. You have the superset with the dumbbell where you're doing the incline seated and standing curl. Then you have the standing barbell curl with the inside grip, the uh, drag curl with the outside grip, preacher curl, you can use inside or outside, I don't think it really matters, and then the spider curls to end it all there. So with us being on day 23, I can't be any more happier than the progress that I've made. Uh, there is one comment that I can make on uh, Devil Made Me Do It's uh, video, which I will provide a link to that video in the description below, is that he seems to think that because of the update I did on week one, that I showed that I uh, grew a sixteenth of an inch, that if I were to maintain that progress, that right now I should be at three sixteenths of an inch. And he thinks he's got me well beat. Well. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I have been keeping track, and I can at least say this. It's more than 3 sixteenths of an inch. Is it going to be enough to win? you got to stay tuned to find out. Uh, so if you like what you saw here, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, and stay tuned for the final update on the 30-Day Bicep Workout Challenge.